Hey everybody, I'm Ryan. Today, we're going to talk about Ardenweald in World of Warcraft. If you want to learn more about anything I mentioned in the video, links to those other videos, if I've done them, are in the description. Ardenweald, also known as the Weald and the Great Forest Beyond, is one of the infinite realms of the Shadowlands, led and created by the Winter Queen. When the souls of nature, such as the wild gods, druids, and hunters die, they are sent by the Arbiter to Ardenweald. It is a land of beautiful forests of dream trees that draw an anima to be used by the Night Fae to rejuvenate the spirits that are sent here to strengthen them to be reborn into the world of the living from within wild seeds being infused by this anima. When it's time for a soul to be reborn, they go to the Grove of Awakening, where there's a portal that ferries souls back to their respective worlds to begin the cycle anew. Souls are fed anima to be reborn in groves, which each have their own dream tree. The Hibernal Hollow has Tirna Glane, Tirna Val has Tirna Nosh, Heartwood Grove has Tirna Rowan, Claw's Edge has Tirna Caith, Glitterfall Basin has Tirna Aes, Dreamsong Fen has Tirna Fen, and Darkreach has Tirna Marwal. Then there is the dream tree Tirna Scythe, which has become an extremely dangerous area, which the Drust have invaded from Thros, seeking to use the mechanisms in Ardenweald to enter the cycle of life and death. They've also invaded Darkreach. The Drust are looking to continue to invade Ardenweald beyond the lands they have already gained. When non-animals die and are sent to Ardenweald due to their closeness with nature, they have the option to choose an animal form. This is called the Boon of Shapes. To be manifested in, in Ardenweald, this power is given by the Winter Queen so that they may continue to care for the wilds. In exchange for this boon, those who receive this gift give a portion of their anima to Ardenweald. Ardenweald has a connection to the Emerald Dream since before the split of the Pantheon. However, where the Emerald Dream represents the spring and summer of the cycle, Ardenweald represents autumn and winter. This relationship is a representation of the cycle of life and death. There's also other powers within Ardenweald, including the waters that are carrying a deep power that everyone except for the Tyrannin have forgotten. And the mushrooms and fungi spread across Ardenweald are all a part of a giant sentient fungus, Merasmius. When the wild god Cenarius was killed during the Third War, his soul was sent to Ardenweald to begin the cycle back into life, before he returned to the mortal world during the Cataclysm. However, after the defeat of the Burning Legion, souls have stopped arriving at Ardenweald, and instead have been going straight into the Maw. This has caused a horrible drought. Ardenweald may be the realm that is suffering the most in the soul drought. Due to the need of rationing the anima they have left, the Winter Queen now bears the burden of choosing which groves get what they have left and which ones fade away forever, along with the souls that are currently resting there in their cycle back to life. The first grove that she chose to fade away was the Grove of Tirnaval, which contained the spirit of the wild god Ursok. The Mawwalker goes to Ardenweald under the guidance of a message from the Primus of Maldraxxus to warn the other Eternal Ones that the Jailer needed to be stopped. When the Mawwalker arrives, they bond with a wild seed that is having nightmares, even after being soothed with anima. In order to get an audience with the Winter Queen, the Mawwalker worked with the Wild Hunt to fight against the Drust who have been stealing the anima in Ardenweald. The Mawwalker also works with the wild seed that bonded to it to soothe its streams and continue to infuse it with anima. The Wild Seed gives the Mawwalker visions of Deathwing and Tarond Whisperwind, and they realize that the Wild Seed is Ysera. The Mawwalker uses the heart of Tirna Nosh's anima to soothe Ysera. The dreams that Ysera experienced, as well as being attracted to the heart of Tirna Nosh, ignited the Drust's invasion. The Wild Hunt and the Mawwalker are able to defend, but the Wild Seed is damaged and can only be saved by the Winter Queen. The Winter Queen awakens and saves Ysera. 
But in exchange, Ysera is now forever bound to Ardenweald and can never return to the world of the living. The Mawalker is finally able to deliver the Primus's message of the Jailer's betrayal. And the Witcher Queen reveals that the heart of the forest, which uses the anima of Ardenweald to hold the Jailer in its prison, is withering. And the anima drought has weakened Ardenweald so much that all of the anima in the forest cannot save it. The Winter Queen sends the Mawalker to Revendrath to ask Sire Denathrius for help, as those in Revendrath are masters of anima extraction and may be able to save the forest and keep the Jailer imprisoned. While in Revendreth, the Mawalker discovers that Sire Denathrius has abandoned his sacred task and has aligned with the Jailer and is also partly responsible for the anima drought and has continually been funneling their anima into the Maw to help the Jailer. The Winter Queen was also asked by Bastion for a powerful anima artifact to power the Seal of Ascension so that Bastion can again make Ascended. The Winter Queen agrees and gives them the vessel of Ardenweald, even though Ardenweald is still suffering. Later on, the Mawalker saves many of the Night Elf souls that were killed in the burning of Teldrassil from the Maw, and brings them to Ardenweald, where they are finally allowed to find peace. One Somdi then alerts the Mawalker, who he has a history with, that some Loa that should be resting in Ardenweald have gone missing. Mozala, the original Loa of death before Bon Somdi, had been working to awaken the evil spirits of Dambala and Hakar the Soul Flayer before they were supposed to and recruit them to work for Muzala. After the defeat of Dambala, Muzala retreats to the other side where the Mawalker helps Bonsamdi capture Muzala and stop him from his evil schemes. The Druss then began using a different tactic to invade Ardenweald, putting mass on Night Fae, which controls them to help with their invasion and fight. After a large amount of interrogation, Muzala reveals to Bonsamdi that a wild god is trapped in the Maw. With the help of the spirit of Vol'jin, the Mawalker saves Ashamane, Hirik, and Shadra, but it's too late to save Razan, who grants the last of his power to the spirit of Vol'jin. All of the wild gods that are saved are welcomed by the Winter Queen to Ardenweald. In a push to drive the Drust out of Ardenweald, the Mawalker killed Gorak Jar, who is actually their friend Aralon, disguised with a mask of dark magic. And while they are distracted, the Drust attacked the Grove of Awakening. All of the Night Fae, including the Winter Queen, were able to finally drive the Drust from Ardenweald and killed the real Gorak Jar, saving Ardenweald. They're now faced with the Anima Drought and the Jailer, standing together with Maldraxxus and Bastion, and Prince Renathal and Revendrath. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, it's just a good overview of Ardenweald as a zone and as a faction. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to like and subscribe, check me out on other social medias, especially joining the community on Discord, hanging out on Twitter, and chilling with us on Twitch. I stream there pretty much every day and would love for you to join me. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.